Pops. Mark Millar is among the best of the best right now. And I saw this over on Image. Image uh, has this, a blood commandment number one. And what caught me caught my eye is the blurb. Miniseries premiere, living an isolated life, blah, blah, blah. But uh, this was uh, recommended here. There's a quote at the end about it being, this is exceptional Mark Millar. I'm like, whoa, 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 what do you mean? All my heroes growing up were writers and artists. It is the purest form of the media. And I now add, I assume you say his name is Simon to this list of greats. This is exceptional. Mark Millar's words, not mine. Here's a little synopsis here. I'll have that in the description for you. You can check that out for yourself. Let me give you a little bit of a tease and a little bit of a look of the book. I'm not going to spoil it. If you like horror, if you want graphic, if you want some really interesting setup uh, for uh, the world that we're going to be in, they do a good job. They do a good job. Uh, Blood Commandment, this is issue number one. It's a four-part miniseries, only four issues. Um, It's called Flesh and Simon... Uh, Kudransky, Kudransky, um, he's the creator, the writer, the artist, he's everything, right? So it's very important to see that. I think it's what Mark Millar is trying to get at. It's like, wow, this is this guy's in everything. Look And look at the art. Now, we just don't get art like this. We just don't get something. I use this word stylish all the time, right? We just don't get things that catch your eye, engage us, uh, bring us into a world where you know, things are great. So um, anyway, father and son, they're out shooting. The son fires. He doesn't hit this deer. He hits the tree and you end up a little back and forth. And what is interesting here is this good father story right off the bat. That's my first impression. Just back and forth. Dad, are you mad at me? I I missed on purpose. Basically, I didn't want to shoot the deer. I don't mind practicing. And dad's of course like, yes, but we live in an area that's kind of dangerous, right? There's bears and stuff. You need to be able to handle the gun. He's like, well, I don't probably learn how you handle the gun. I just didn't want to kill the deer. So it's, a, it's an interesting dynamic, and then it kind of goes into, and it sets up sort of other elements to their relationship, and that he, well, this is the, uh, you know, why can't go to school? He's homeschooled, he's 14, and then we're, we're going to get to this one dialogue here of the back and forth. Oh, this is, they had to go to town, is a heat pump, why they had to go to town, but then they have this um, back and forth right here. Uh, this is some fantastic dialogue because this is this felt like conversations you're going to have with your kid. It's probably more conversations that we should have with our kids and other people about the purpose of life. Where did mom go? Is there heaven? Is there a God? If God's in control, do we have free will? If we don't, if we do where you don't have free will, if God controls everything, why does bad things happen? It's just it's all of this stuff packaging right here. Um, I can say what Mark saw too is, um, this is incredible because you feel like you're in Simon's head and heart and he poured that out into this book and the story is a way for him to at least press forward with these conversations. I think that's, that's just fantastic. And then you end up with sort of like the suspenseful setup about something is going on and then, you know, it's, it's, you know, it's going to happen. Like it, it's black and white. You know what's going to happen. Don't go there, sir. It's dark. It's dangerous. You got your gun. Sure you do. Um, it's not safe. And then there's like the blood splatter. And he's lifted up into the air. I don't want to spoil what happens. I don't want you to know more dynamics than I've already told you. Because I would love to hear from you about whether you like this or not. So here's the thing. Um, I thought of this almost as sort of like the indie comic. Even though it's an, it's an image book. But because it's like the one guy's idea, the writer, the art, it's a passion project. I feel it's only four issues. So it's almost like it's just not Indiegogo. It's just not. It's just it felt it feels very much like something this guy's been working on or it's it's been a passion of his and and that kind of thing. And I'm not familiar with the name. Maybe some of you are. Um, Anyway, I want to throw it out there. Um, yeah, high recommend. Isn't it fun to be able to high recommend something else? Of course, it's Image Comics, so it's it's just one of those things. But I think it's a it's a horror miniseries, only four issues. Um, yeah, I think it's just it's just it's it's something that's uh, been a lot of fun. I can't I can't believe it. I was um, sort of shocked. I I really was enjoying this first book. Can't wait for more, and uh, we'll love to hear your guys' take on it. So thanks for watching, everybody. I am Pops.